students in Class 3E of Kunigigioka High School are shown nervously waiting for their homeroom teacher to arrive in the class. Their homeroom teacher is a weird yellow octopus look-alike creature who has super speed ability. When their teacher arrives in the classroom, those students immediately stand up and start firing their guns, trying to kill their teacher. That creature successfully dodges all the rubber bullets, while calling every student's names. After the students finished firing their guns and seemed worn out to continue their attack, the teacher expressed his happiness that there are no absences. The student doesn't trust him, saying that the bullet is too smooth and he probably can fake it even if the bullet hit him successfully. However, the teacher then fires one of his tentacles, showing the students that although the bullet can hurt humans, it indeed can injure him. The creature later mocks the students, saying he hopes that they can kill them before they graduate next year. After that brief attack, the class starts normally, except for the fact that it's a weird creature who teaches the students. Later Nagisa, one of the students, reveals the background story of this abnormal situation. Two important things happened in their life this year. First, the moon exploded into a crescent and it once became breaking news in Japan. Second, the creature who claims itself as the one who destroyed the moon suddenly appears in the Outcast 3 E class. The creature says that he will become their homeroom teacher, and warns them that he will destroy the earth next March. Along with the creature, a man from the Japanese Ministry of Defense named Karasum also came to their class. He says that the octopus creature is from the earth and the fact that he will be a homeroom teacher is the government's secret. Besides, Karasum also gives 3E students important tasks, to kill that creature so that they can save the earth, and never let this matter go viral. Karasuma explains that the creature has super speed power that allows it to move at Mach 20 speed. Although government and special forces from all around the world have been trying to kill that creature, they failed. The creature can't be killed because the super speed power gives it the ability to dodge all attacks. Karasum also explains that the creature will change its head color to reveal its feelings. Although the Japanese government doesn't know why it wants to teach, they allow him to be a teacher because they can monitor his movements. The fact that there are 30 students in the class also means, there are more people who can kill the creature from an extremely close range. To motivate the students, Karasuma tells them that a successful assassination will be rewarded with 10 billion yen. It seems like the students have tried a lot of ways to kill their teacher. Unfortunately, all their attempts failed. That creature seems to do the job happily. The teacher often uses his super speed ability to travel to other countries only for buying snacks during break time. That day, when the teacher leaves the school for lunch, Nagisa is asked by Terasaka and his gang to plan the assassination together. Nagisa then tells them some facts about the teacher which he notes through observation. Somehow, Nagisa agrees to be part of Terasaka's assassination plan. The break time then finishes and the teacher has back from his brief travel. The class continues that day's lesson, this time they learn about Japanese poems. The teacher instructs the class to write a brief poem that relates to their theme, instructing them that the last line should end with was tentacles all along. When they're finished, they can bring the poem to him so he can do the checking. He then goes into a little break, and his face turns light pink, signaling that he's tired. Nagisa gets up with his poem in hand and steadily walks over to him, hiding a knife in the folded paper. There is a grenade full of rubber bullets called BB in Nagisa's body. Terasaka pushes the button that makes the grenade go off. At first, everyone thought that they had successfully killed the teacher. Unfortunately, the creature changes its skin, using it to protect Nagisa from the grenade. The teacher's head turns black, stating that he is furious because that action endangers Nagisa. Surprisingly, he praises the tactic but advises them not to do it again because it's too dangerous. It is later revealed that the creature wants to be a teacher to keep its promise to somebody. And by the end of that day, because he can't be killed, the students give him a name and start to call him Koro-sensei. The next day, when Koro-sensei reads a newspaper before the class starts, one of his students, Sugino, throws a baseball full of BB bullets at him. As usual, his super speed ability allows him to dodge the attack. Koro-sensei then gives the ball back to Sugino, saying that the ball is so slow that he even has time to get a glove to catch it. He praises Sugino's fresh idea but it won't be enough to kill him. After that, the class then starts like usual, but Sugino appears to be still dismayed after his failed attempt. After the school bell rings, Koro-sensei tells the class that he has to go to New York to watch a match so he ends the class early. When he leaves, the students in the class start to fantasize that probably it will be fun if Koro-sensei brings back souvenirs for them every time he visits other countries. That day, Karasuma appears and asks the class if they have made progress. The class complains about the difficulty. They still can't find Koro-sensei's weakness and the fact that he can move fast doesn't help at all. The following day, 
Sagino eats his lunch outside but sets his meal down. Then Koro Sensei appears and returns the ball to him, while eating a whole coconut. Sagino is asked if he plays on a team, but he responds that they are unable to do so since they are in E class, and that throughout his time on the squad, he isn't allowed to play because he is too slow. Koro Sensei finds this to be discrimination. Nagisa briefly goes outside to turn in some papers, only to see that Koro Sensei has completely wrapped Sugino in tentacles. Koro Sensei is evaluating Sugino's physique. He realizes that Sugino is attempting to replicate Arita's style. Arita is a professional baseball player. Koro Sensei says that because his shoulders are not as strong, it is impossible for Sugino to fully imitate and reproduce a strong throw with that style. Koro Sensei reveals that he also wrapped Arita's body yesterday to evaluate his physique, that's why he knows about this. Koro Sensei then tells Sugino that he has a flexible wrist and therefore, he should start to develop his throwing style. Not too long after that, Sugino is shown to develop his throwing style with Nagisa. Later Nagisa admits that Koro Sensei's main strength is his ability to motivate his students. The other day, the class doesn't stop trying to kill him, this time by attacking him together. Koro Sensei successfully escapes from the attack, takes the student's knives, and changes it to tulips instead. The class had planted those tulips together months earlier. Later, Koro Sensei feels guilty and tries to plant back those tulips. As someone who wants to destroy the earth, his action is indeed confusing. In other places, Kurosama has been assigned to be the 3E class PE teacher. Meanwhile, there will be another student to join 3E class. This student is warned about 3E class confidential information. The new student is Karma Akabane and he notes that he looks forward to killing a teacher. The next day, Kurosama starts to teach PE in 3E class. He teaches the students how to handle combat, including how to attack and defend. The fact that they can't kill Koro Sensei is because they are just amateurs and have no experience in fighting. At the end of PE class, Karma shows up and greets Nagisa. It's later revealed that he was suspended from school because of his violence. That day, Karma manages to inflict some damage to Koro Sensei by giving a handshake with knife shards cleverly taped to his hand. He is the first one in the class to do that. Karma continuously provokes Koro Sensei, mentally and physically. Nagisa also says that in that outcast class, Karma is the star, acknowledging the fact that he has a lot of ways to hurt someone. Later on, the same day, when students take the quiz, Karma provokes Koro Sensei again by stealing his gelato. He manages to hurt Koro Sensei again after the latter accidentally steps on some BB bullets. Karma later shoots Koro Sensei with an unloaded gun and continuously mocks him. Koro Sensei hasn't been ready to face Karma's sudden attacks. However, although Karma is violent, Koro Sensei later admits that he is a smart student who even gets a full score on the quiz. Koro Sensei can't hurt him if he wants to keep his job in the school. The following day, after hearing from Nagisa that Koro Sensei worships the octopus, Karma leaves a dead octopus on Koro Sensei's desk. However, Koro Sensei cooks it into takoyaki to ridicule Karma. Throughout the day, Koro Sensei manages to anticipate every prank Karma tries to pull. In his last effort, Karma deliberately jumps from the cliff while holding a gun. He wants to see if Koro Sensei will risk his life to save him. A flashback shows that Karma is disappointed with one of the teachers because the latter sacrifices him to keep his career. The teacher didn't stand by his side although what he did was right. Koro Sensei indeed saves him by forming his tentacles into a sticky spider web. At the end of that day, Karma accepts Koro Sensei as his teacher, thinking that he is a good one. That's the end of this video, you can find the next part in the description. Thank you so much for staying with us until the end. I hope you enjoy our videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for the next updates. It means a lot to us. See you in the next videos.